Hey guys, so um, I had a request to do a video on how to create QR codes. So I'm going to give you guys um, three different options on how to create free QR codes that you can put on flyers, postcards, um, labels, literally the it's endless on where you can put a QR code um, on. If you don't know what a QR code is, it is um, a code that is created that you scan with your phone camera you don't need a special app or anything and it will take people or whoever scan it directly to wherever you want it to point it to so most people just have it point to their general web website which is totally fine um, that's great for all of your labels and all of your marketing if you are doing a specific marketing you can actually um well, what you would do first, let's take a step back, is you would copy this URL. So I'm double clicking my website URL. It's bridgetedwards.cincy.us. That's my URL. I will copy that and create a QR code so it links and directs people directly to my main website. Now, as we go into it, I will show you how to create um, a more specific or targeted QR code, um, which is the same process. It's just a different URL. So. First up, I found QR code slash or dash monkey.com is a 100% free QR code generator. So this is where you can start. So when you sign up or when you log in, you, I don't even think you need an account for this. You can just go here and there's many different option, options, but URL is the default and I would stick with that. Here, the first thing you're gonna do is enter your content. So I already created one, so I'm just going to walk okay. you through it, but I just copy and then I pasted my URL that right there, what I've copied over here, and now I've pasted it here. Okay, so that's where it's going to point to when people click on it. You can do further customizations if you want to, but um, it's not an income producing activity, so I wouldn't worry about it. So you can set colors, you can add a logo, you can customize it, endless. Um, things you can do there so then what you would do is you would scroll down here create the qr code i've already created it, so it won't let me do that so you create it so this image is kind of like the preview of it is going to change and then you're going to download it so you're going to download it as usually i would do a png that means that the background is trans transparent so there's not a white background on there uh, it just looks better on other images and then it's going to download on your computer so if you click on it so i already downloaded it that's what my qr code is going to look like Obviously, it's not going to be this big when you put it in your marketing collateral, but you can kind of get a sense of what a QR code is. All right. So that's option number one. Option number two is if you're making labels. So I do a ton and ton of labels and I'm going to go over and I use Avery Design Studio here and this is free. So it's um. It's app.print.avery.com, or if you go to avery.com, you can kind of create your own. You, you design and print online. It's kind of like their online-based software program, but again, it's free. You do need to create an account to use it because you want to save all of your files and your templates and projects on there. Um, but like I said, it's absolutely free. So this is going to be how my new labels are going to look. Let me make it a little bit bigger. For the fall, I really simplified them. I am using um, Avery template 5160. So those are the address labels, the small address labels. Um, you wanna put a picture on here. So I have like a cartoon graphic that I had um, created for me earlier this year. So I'm gonna use that. If not, use an image of yourself. Um, I would do preferably just yourself, clean, not cutting off people on the side. If you don't have one, just take a selfie edit it a little bit, make sure it's light and pretty and, you know, make sure it's vis visibly, you know, appealing. Put that on here. The two or the three main things you want to have on your label is your website address, because then everyone's going to use a QR code, even though most people will, or, and your phone number. So I have my business phone number on here. So people can either call or text me. And then I have my QR code. Now here in Avery, you can actually create a QR code in Avery. So to do that, I would um, jump over here and click more, click QR code and add barcode or QR code. So we're going to enter manually. 
then under industry standard format, I'm going to go down and select QR code. I'm going to click type URL. All right, so now we're going to do the same process. We're going to go back to, let's say, our website. But let's say I am making a label for, um, where is it? Everything that is, you know, it's the last chance that you can absolutely get this. So once I click on that, here's going to bring you up to a different page with all the last chance inventory, the scents and the warmers and all of that. So I'm going to click on here, copy this complete URL, uh, go back to my Avery under website. I'm going to paste that URL. Okay. And then click finish. And then it's going to create a QR code right in your label. So there's no downloading the QR QR code and uploading it to this um, software. It's already done all in here. Okay. So I already have one over here, which is to my general website. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that, but that's how you would create one in Avery. Last one I want to show you is Canva and Canva is one of my favorite things. So if you guys don't have Canva, canva.com, this is what it is. There is a free version. There is a paid version. I use a paid version because I want more access to different fonts and to different images, but the free version has phenomenal stuff to you. So totally can do free. So let's go and look at, oh my address is on here. Um, we're gonna look at the, how to create a QR code. And I have it on the back of my August postcards. Okay, so you know, you guys know I do my monthly postcards and then I always have a QR code here. Now we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go over here to the left-hand side bar and you can see QR code. I'm gonna select QR code. I'm gonna go up here to my website. And for this one, I'm going to select scent and warmer of the month. Now, although I'm doing this now and using the QR code and you see July's scent and warmer of the month, it's the same link. It's, a, it's the same URL for any month, but it's always gonna be the current one. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste this URL into here and generate code, okay? So there's gonna be my code for the scent and warmer of the month. Again, you don't have to, like in QR code monkey, you don't have to go um, create a co code, download it, and then upload it into a different software. It's all done right here. So those are three ways that you guys can um, create QR codes in um, for your business, for your Cincy business. So hopefully that helps. And if you guys have any other questions, do not hesitate to ask. All right, talk to you later.